Hey, what's up? This is Tracy Lee, and I'm coming to you live from Invicta FC in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm here with Jessica Penny, who is one of the top fighters, female fighters in the world in her weight class. How's it going today, Jessica? I'm doing great, thank you. You know, I was lucky enough today to be able to do a photo shoot with Jessica um, at the hotel, and it... I have to admit, it came out pretty fantastic. I mean, this girl is super sexy, and um, we had a great time doing it. So um, my, that brings me to my first question for you is, how do you feel about, you know, the sex appeal in women's MMA? Are you, um, you know, are you embracing your sexuality? I mean, like, what are you doing about that? I mean, how do you feel about it? Um, I think that just because you're an athlete, you have to um, hide your sexuality and you have to, you know, hide yourself and not put yourself out there. I think as long as you're staying true to who you are and, um, you know, what you believe in and how you want to present yourself, then I think it comes across as, as natural and um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So you're really excited about your photo shoot today then, I imagine. You know, I, I spent a lot of time in the gym with my hair pulled back and I'm all sweaty and gross, so it was kind of nice, you know, getting dressed up and looking like a girl, and um, I, I had a great time with it. it this girl has legs for days. Anyway, so my next question to you is, how do you feel about Ronda Rousey and how she is taking it to a whole new level when it comes to women's MMA, between, you know, tearing through, through people and tearing off their arms to, you know, the front cover of ESPN body issue where she is completely, pretty much completely naked? Um, I think it was a great opportunity for her. I mean, she has um, come to the sport pretty quickly, but she has definitely set a precedent for herself. and. Um, I mean, I think she's worked hard, and I think she earned that spot, and um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, I think it was a great privilege to be a part of such, like, a prestigious kind of article. I mean, it was it was beautiful. The pictures were absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, they're amazing. I have to admit, they are absolutely amazing. So my qu next question for you is, um, tonight is the, the all-women's fight card. There's 14 fights on the card, so 28 women. Who, who What fights are you looking forward to tonight? Um, all the fights look really evenly matched. I'm really excited for all of them. Um, I have a couple friends that are fighting tonight, so I'm really looking out for uh, Jocelyn Leibarger. She's making a pro debut tonight, so I'm really excited about it. And also uh, Carla Sparza, she's another local Orange County fighter, so I gotta, you know, stick with Orange County people. And um, the the main event, the coming event, are gonna be awesome. So I'm just really excited about all of them. So what what, uh, what fights in your uh, weight division are you watching? Because potential opponents would that be the main and the coming then, right? Um, no, the um, one of fibers that I'd be looking at are Jessica Philippus, <laughs> and um, I forget her opponent's name, but um, and then the other girls, uh, Nick Dolly and Angelica Chavez. So those potentially are your opponents for potentially a title fight in the future, correct? Yep. <laughs> nice. Okay. And what's next for you? Just just training for your next fight, or? Um, I'm just always trying to get better, improve myself, um, staying ready. Hopefully I'll be on the next card, so I'm just looking forward to that one. Which we are looking forward to in October. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you some of the photos from today's photo shoot. Hold on, you gotta do that again. You're walking through it. One, two, three. 